This is the third of a series of video tutorials to help you make a soccer scoring game application. You can see we have the code from the last time and the links to the other videos are just beneath this video. So for this particular one, we are going to add a scorekeeping now. We're going to need a variable to do that so that every time our soccer ball gets into the net, we're going to increase our score by one. To do that, as I mentioned, you need a variable. So click on variables on the left hand side there and then click on make a variable. I'm going to call it score and then click on OK. At the very top of my program, I'd like to set the score equal to zero. So when you click on that green flag, it will say it will start off at zero as it is now. But every time you play, you want it to start off at zero again. So you're going to get the set score to zero block and put it at the top just beneath your when the green flag is clicked block. We also need it so that when the soccer ball touches the net, the score increases by one. So while we're under variables here, you can grab the change score by one block and put it inside of this if statement here. So I've got it, so it's going to say goal, it's going to move that soccer ball back to the beginning, and it's also going to increase your score by one. Actually, I'm going to move that right up to the top there so that before it says um, goal, the score will change right away. So let's test that out now. I'm going to click the green flag to run. I'm going to move my ball over. Oop, having a little challenge <laughs> difficulty there. And so there we go. You can see my score change, and I'll have another attempt here. Faster that time, and my score increased again.